digital transformation, digital government offers extraordinary opportunities for us to improve government and drive reform. Uh, government's well behind and it's time for us to catch up. The private sector, simply because of competitive pressures, has had to adapt faster. So we've seen in music, we've seen in media, we've seen in retail now, uh, we've seen in, uh, in, in movies now as well. Uh, a whole range of industries where you're seeing profound changes. Uh, there are two big ideas at the heart of this piece. One is that there are uh, significant short-term efficiency savings uh, and opportunities for government in providing better service simply in, uh, in health, in, in welfare and in other areas. But the second idea is more profound and it's, it's that as we digitise we can decentralise knowledge, information and power out to citizens and consumers. It also means that citizens are in charge of the reform agenda. Uh, more and more I think we've seen very loud vested interests uh, getting control of the reform agenda. Uh, this is about giving it back to citizens, giving it back to everyday people in areas like health. Look, in 10 years time, I'd like to see government as a platform for a whole series of competitive, contestable services, where the data around those services, the quality of those services, the performance and costs of those services is completely open, transparent, and, and usable to third parties. And in the process of opening up these services, making them more contestable and data more open, I think we, we drive fundamental reforms in, in all those areas that government participates. Mm -hmm.